he was gliding much faster and floating much faster than I was on my modern equipment. They put horsehair on the bottom so that they could climb. What fascinated me the most is how well the horsehair actually slid forward, so their rate of descent was incredible. Then when we turn around, I had to unrelease my bindings, put my skins on, and get all ready to climb back up, and they were already halfway up the mountain. They are a mountain culture. It's confirmed. There are skiers in the Altai. Confronti di Acola di 31 centesimi ritarono i confronti di Furio di 58. Alberto sta facendo una manche per vincere, non c'è dubbio. Sta attaccando e lo si vede benissimo. Forza Alberto. Eccolo ora l'ingresso del muro. what is going to be the greatest performance of his career right here. What he has said is that his own expectations for the World Championships, one match. Him, he will step up and was doing that in that first run. Yeah, exactly. They don't have one yet in an individual basis. They need his result right here. And I just love the way he skis so naturally. You don't see any tightness in his legs. He just skied this beautifully classic. <laughs> I've been trying to work on a certain type of style and technique since 2006 really, starting the turn earlier and finishing it later than most other guys. Now, the reigning world champion in giant slalom is winning races by full seconds in events usually decided by mere hundredths. The most noticeable element of Ligeti's style is seen in mid-turn where his body is horizontal to the hill. I've always been really known for having big edge angle. Even on the old skis, I was one of the guys that laid over the furthest. That's really the most I'm laid over, you know, my hips on the ground there. You can pull a tighter radius, tighter arc, so you can cut off distance, you can go cleaner throughout the turn, so that's really wide equals a faster time. The perfect Ligeti path is one constant in speed and rhythm, with little sideways sliding. You know, before in the old skis, guys could ski with, you know, in my mind, a flawed technique and still be really fast. Whereas on the new skis, you can't really get away with that. Earlier turns on the new skis mean Ligeti can greatly reduce sliding. At this gate, Bodie Miller spends more time spraying snow than Ligeti does, a sign of a slower turn. Most of the guys would slide you know, the top 10% of the turn, which makes it much easier to not make mistakes, but it's definitely a lot slower from turn to turn. And I have a really fast transition where, you know, I'm basically on my downhill ski and then starting my new turn on the other ski really quickly sometimes. I go from the apex, I'm pushing as hard as I can, and it's almost a step onto the new ski while it's still on the edge it was currently on in that turn. Before it's actually rolled from an uphill edge to the downhill edge, I'm getting on the new ski before you actually switch it. 
I can start pushing on the ski really early when it's, you know, working against gravity. You know, you're kind of pushing yourself down the hill in a way. Ligeti's laid over style means he can exert great pressure on his skis, bending them at every turn. By releasing that pressure coming out of the turn, he slingshots himself toward the next gate. I'm just pushing off that ski as hard as I can. That's really where I think of trying to finish my turn, is right at the gate, where I have enough ski bend and you know direction with my skis that I'll just kind of get the pop out of the skis to get across the hill. You know, in a minute 15 course in Giant Slalom, it's basically like running a 400. You know, you're running, you're going as fast as you can, and you're pushing as hard as you can on every turn because that's how you get speed out of the turn. I'm able to make the new ski. The next guy I caught up with was Marcel Hersher, uh, last year's Giant Slalom and overall champ. Hersher, two. I think that is one of the biggest problems we have. Being tired? Yeah. Maybe my training in summer wasn't good, but uh, <laughs> what I know, I trained pretty good. And I think on a length of 1 minute 30, for example, Beaver Creek, I don't know how it, how it can be possible to race there from the top to the bottom at 100%. I think right now, no chance for that. Yeah, otherwise, pretty good. Otherwise, pretty good. <laughs> Brilliant. Just have great memories on this hill. It was uh, when he was vying for the 2007 World Cup overall title. All he had to do was get inside the top 15 in the GS, and it would have been his. He ended up being out in the Giants' palm. Five-year-old will be to sort of change the way he has gotten his victories over the past when his skill was so high he could ski at 90%. Now his skill is matched by many other skiers. Oh, and that, yeah, I gotta tell you, having watched him ski out in the World Cup Finals in 2007, I'd say he's within about 10 yards of where he did it five years ago. Yeah, you don't think he remembers? Of course he does. But he just leans in and goes down. <laughs> When we come back, we will continue with our second run here in Lenzerheide. Performance out of your boots. And Cyprien Richard, 34-year-old out of Morzine, France. And uh, that is the, oh, man, and already on the very limit, just like his teammate Panara. Yeah, he's, been, he's not giving himself enough room right here at the top of the steep, and he almost goes down. Like up top, it may be a little bit grippy down below. Richard has lost now a full second to Isaac. Another one with a lean-in. We saw it in the morning with Spindall having trouble. Reich goes down, and this snow, these conditions, you get any kind of pressure on that inside ski, that uphill edge is going to grab, kick the other one out. Not sure if it had everything to do with it, but... 